Uh, chum, I need your help with a matter of grave importance. You see, my seismic readings have been off the charts today, and I fear something terrible is happening just off the coast. Chandler and I are headed to Simmering Springs to investigate, and I'd be greatly reassured if you could join us. Splendid! Meet us there whenever you get the chance. In the meantime, we have preparations to make. Chandler, ready the sunscreen! <laughs> Buddy, I got something to show you. Follow me. <clears throat> Ta-da! It's your very own mailbox! Lisbert was gone most of the time, so if any of us wanted to get in touch or give her something that wasn't too important, we'd just leave it in here. And since you've kind of taken over Liz's job, I'm sure we can do the same with you. Beats waking us up in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> And what's this? I think you might have a letter right now. Go ahead and check. Dear buddy, that's you. Thanks for walking me back home and also for saving me from the brink of starvation. I figure since you'll be staying in Snacksburg for a while, you might need some basics. Here's a care package with everything I could scrape together. I hope you find yourself at home soon. Best wishes, XOXO, Mayor Bilbo Fiddlepie. That's me. Well, what do you think? Oh, sorry. I, I just thought it'd be more fun if I read it out loud. But, um, I guess that defeats the point of leaving a letter. Huh. Great question, buddy. And that leads me to part two of Operation Gift Buddies. This way! I was thinking you could keep all your new gifts in your very own hut! I know it's kind of a fixer-upper right now, but hey, at least it's open plan, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, this hut really was meant for you, and I know we're gonna finish it someday. So keep checking your mail, do some redecorating, and before you know it, this'll feel like home.
need. Thanks for the help. All right. All right. Buddy?
Have a beach party? Need me to sunscreen your back, Snorb Dog? No, no, no need, Tandlo. I'm well protected. I can tolerate the horrible sun for at least a few minutes. You sure? I could check if you missed a spot. <laughs> Best to keep our wits about us. This seismic event could happen any moment. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, what was that? They're not usually this intense. An anomaly, to be sure, but it ended surprisingly quick. Oh, oh, oh. It's a new island, dog. We gotta go over there. Uh, must we? Uh, um, yes, uh, of course. Uh, but, but surely this job is bigger than the three of us. We need to form a miniature expedition. A gathering of our finest scientific minds. Of course, that means Triffany and... Floofy. Ooh, get Shelda, too! Shelda? Well, she's hardly qualified. You said you want the finest minds, and Shelda's loaded with wisdom. Bam! Team assembled! Oh, I suppose she is an herbalist, and the closest thing we have to a doctor without Eggabel around. Very well. Tell Triffany, Floofty, and Shelda to come to the beach. Chandler and I will stay here to prepare a way across. Get hype! Check this out! Philbo told me you were living here and I thought, you know what this place needs? Walls! It's my bad for not finishing it in the first place though. I was gonna have it ready in time for you, but then all that stuff happened. But sooner or later, Chandlo gets the job done! Enjoy your walls, dog!
Shelda is delightful, darling. The way she speaks is captivating. Even if I haven't the faintest idea what she's saying. Toodles! <laughs> Toodles! How you? Wow, it's getting crowded around here. I can't believe it. This party's gonna change everything. You're asking me? <clears throat> well, of course. Your need for guidance is great. Despite the peril, one will show you the path. And that scary little island. If it's what I think it is, there's something there I need to see. <laughs> hey there, Cromdo. What are you looking at? Hi! What? Hmm. So an unknown piece of geography has erupted from the ocean, unexplained and unstable, likely to sink again at any moment. So of course I'm going. I will gather my equipment. I do. Islands don't just pop into being every day, you know. I got no business left here, so I'll go on ahead and meet you on the beach. So soon, we're not quite ready. Uh, we could use another few days of assessment. What are you talking about, Snorp Dog? We got the raft ready in record time. Let's go get everybody. <sighs> of course, Chandler. All righty, I'm here and ready to explore. Ooh, nice work on that raft there, Chandler. Thanks, Brophany. Indeed. If it is not more than a finely crafted tomb for the foolish wanderers. Of course, Snorpington can get volunteers. Ah, oh, but it seems a vagrant has wandered into our expedition. Snacksburg is that way, Shelda. <gasps> Be still, your wicked tongue. One must show respect to one's elders. I will respect you as soon as you do something respectable. No, oh, you think so highly of yourself that you alone are they who can know the unknowable? No, you bring ruin to all that you touch. Ruin to Egabel, ruin to Elizabeth, ruin to your own flesh and blood. I'm starting to think this might not have been the best idea. You know, six folks is a lot for one raft. Maybe one of us ought to stay back home? Which one? Uh... We're all going! Me and Snorpy can hold it together! Actually, Chandler, uh... Well, I was thinking you and I should stay here and supervise. What? Bro! Why'd I build all this stuff if we're not going? Don't you want to know what's on the new island? Well, uh, of course I do, but look at that thing! That Island is a death trap. Come on, Snorp Dog. It's probably fine. Look, I gotta go out there. They need me. Yes, somebody needs to caddy the septuagenarian. Shut it. You can go if you must, Chandler. 
But I'm staying here. But bro, we do everything together. What if something happens to you while I'm gone? Me? Well, I'll be on this lovely beach. What if something happens to you? Yes, yes, you can both be struck by a meteor at any moment. Honestly, they do this every time Chen Lo goes to check the mail. Can we stop wasting time and get on with this expedition before I'm as old as Shelda? <clears throat> you two are like mirrors, reflecting endlessly. One must look away from the infinite abyss and gaze down only at oneself. What? Oh. Far be it for me to give anyone life advice, but there's nothing wrong with a little time apart. It's healthy, even. All right. If you all say so. Don't worry. I'll be in radio contact the entire time. Then I've got trackers on at least three of you. Right. Okay. Then let's get this party started! Ooh. Ooh. Bro. I'll let you do the honors. Just jump on the raft when you're ready. <laughs> All right, Snorp Dog. We made it to the other island. We found some kind of reef cove thing to land on. Chandler. Listen to me, it's very important. You need to understand that remote detonator. Slurpy! Oh, Grump, the radio's broken. No, no, I think we're just out of range. Or there could be some interference going on. Oh, how unfortunate. I suppose we will have to proceed without Snorpington's so-called supervision. But maybe we should go back and tell him? It'll only take an hour. The threshold is crossed. It cannot be uncrossed. And if you think I'm spending another minute on that plank of wood today, <laughs> you are dead wrong. Yeah, you're always right, Shelda. Snorpy knows we got this. He'd want us to keep exploring. Huh. Looks like there's a way across up there. Let's check it out, bro. <laughs> Hmm. These coral structures are the only animal species I've witnessed anywhere near the Snacktooth biosphere. Intriguing. Despite one's years, there ever remains a sense of humbling beauty where sand meets sea, and not a toxin in sight. Who steps onto this island and I'm already seeing evidence of ancient Grumpus technology? Ooh, this trip is definitely gonna be worth it! Do we need to light that thing up? I bet Snorpy's trip shot could do it! is a rotten eggler! Well, would you look at that? Some kind of ancient maze carving. With moving parts and everything. Well, whoever built it put it directly in our way. Chen Lu, you excel in brute force. Destroy this. You got it, Floof Dog! Call me Floof Dog again and see what happens. Now hold on, hold on there. Let's not go smashing the priceless antiques just yet. Looks like you could fit your buggy ball down there in the entrance. I bet if we solve this maze, something real interesting is gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Goodness! That mechanism still works after all this time? Not to mention the water damage. If that's just the door, who knows what historical goodies we'll find inside there? Goodness, to think that this whole valley was underwater not that long ago. I can even see evidence of civilization from who knows when. Oh, check out that impressive looking temple up there. One is more concerned with the ominous crater that lies beneath. If my eyes do not deceive me, I believe I've spotted new varieties of bug snacks as well. New bug snacks? Sick! Think they could be dangerous? There's an easy way to find out. Well, uh, before we get too ahead of ourselves, we might want to set up a base camp. A wonderful idea. One could use time to... Ah, uh, recenter. Five minutes in and you already need a nap. Leave the labor to the productive members of society then. Oh, please don't start this again. Bros! Come check this out! You seeing what I'm seeing? It's Bunger time! Excellent. Why don't you go and fetch it for us, Chen Lo? Way ahead of you, dog! Oh dear. You better go follow and help him out. We'll stay up here and start setting up camp. <laughs> Wait, is it just me? Or is that Bunger way big? Oh! Ooh! Ow! My muscles and my bones! Where am I? I hit some kind of statue room? Looks like she's holding a thing. I don't know what that is. But try throwing it at the big bunger. Maybe that'll do something. Whoa! It stopped being big! I bet it's small enough to catch now! All right, bro. You got Bunger, I got hunger. Now Bunger me, bro! Tell the others about this! Plus, I should probably help unpack. Did you all see that? Giant bug snacks! Even the bungers out here are as big as Mama Melon! Gosh, we might be witnessing a prehistoric species somehow preserved at the bottom of the ocean! Aha! Uh -huh. That would align with my theory on the correlation between age and size. The lost sister of Snacktooth lies unburied. Yet you marvel at the engorgement of the toxins that dance on her grave. The lost what now? Tell me, Chenlo, how did you come to capture this specimen? 
We found a jar of some kind of small dust. It came out of this old lady statue thing. A statue, eh? What did it look like? Like a big friendly grumpus lady with flowers all around her. Uh, no. That sounds like it could be a shrine to Mother Nature. Whoa, Shelda, that's your thing. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, but why would Mother Nature, no to despise her of bug snacks, be dispensing bug snack catching equipment? Hmm? Shelda, your god is a hypocrite. Silence, you wretch. The mother guides, the mother protects. If you so doubt, then one will wield the light of truth against your blasphemy. Okay then. I guess Shelda's gonna go check out those shrines. Uh, meanwhile, I gotta go take a look at all the ruins around here. There's so much ancient history to uncover. I'm giddy just thinking about it. I am fascinated by this shrink spice and its effects on snack matter. If I can determine exactly what it's made of, I'm certain we will have much use for it. All right, bros. I know I'm not a scientist, but I got a hypothesis. If this island can make Big Bunger, can it make Big Chandlo? That's not what a hypothesis is. Honestly, what does my brother see in you? Oh, hush. I'm sure it's worth a try. Well then, let's get to it. <laughs> 